I'm Nadia Kavlin, field botanist and herbarium curator at Royal Botanical Gardens. Today, we're in a lowland forest habitat along the Anishinaabe Wadidzman Trail on the north shore of Coots Paradise to see a plant that signals to us that winter is on its way out and spring is on its way in. Skunk cabbage. Its scientific name is Simplocarpus fetidus. The roots of this name are Greek, where Simplocarpus means connected fruit and refers to the structure of the fruit. At this time of year, we won't see fruits, but fruits come from flowers, and the first parts of skunk cabbage to come up before its leaves appear are its flowers. They're a mottled maroon, sometimes more maroon or red, sometimes more yellow, and sometimes more green. Let's take a peek in here. Do you see that? It looks like a knob with little spikes on it. This form of flowering structure is called a spadix. All these little spikes are tiny flowers. They're perfect flowers, meaning all the parts they need to reproduce are right there in a single flower. There are no petals, but each tiny flower has four tiny sepals. What you see there are the anthers. This structure that looks like a cape around the spadix is called a spathe. So this whole structure, or inflorescence, containing the flowers of skunk cabbage is what we call a spathe and spadix. You'll recognize this form of flowering from other plants that you know in the family Araceae, or the Arum family, like Jack in the Pulpit, or Calla Lilies. After these tiny flowers on the spadix are pollinated, the cape-like spathe wilts away and decomposes. As the pollinated flowers grow into fruits, all stuck together on the spadix into what botanists call an aggregate fruit, it begins to look like a dark mini pineapple. But pineapples are in a different plant family, there are bromeliads. You will only see these peculiar looking fruits in late summer after the leaves die back. Let's go back to the scientific name, Simplocarpus fetidus. We talked about Simplocarpus meaning connected fruit, and now we know why. But what about the second part, fetidus? That's right, just like the English word fetid, it means really stinky. It doesn't smell like skunk to me, or like garlic that was left in the pantry for too long. Maybe if I could recognize the scent like an insect does, I would find it delightfully attractive. Skunk cabbage uses its scent to attract insect pollinators, but it offers more than just a delicious aroma. It offers warmth. Skunk cabbage uses respiration to heat things up in winter, up to 30 degrees Celsius above its ambient temperature, attracting flies, beetles, bees, even spiders. I hope skunk cabbage entices you to get outside and enjoy the excitement of nature coming out of its winter slumber. Like most of our white line plants, skunk cabbage is sensitive to disturbances to its habitat, so when you're out here, please stay on the trail and keep your dogs on the leash. See you outside.